Hi there, my name is Roberta Sanders and I'm the Operations Manager here at Casas Por Cristo. And I'm here today to walk you through how to sign up for a mission trip with Casas Por Cristo if you're interested in doing a group trip for 15 or more people. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to the Casas Por Cristo website. It's casasporcristo.org. Once you get here, you're going to click the register button in the top right hand corner. We have several different types of registrations, but for you, if you're doing a mission trip for a group of 15 or more, you're going to choose the group trip registration button. The opening here is going to explain that you don't have to have everything 100% figured out about your trip at this point. We just want to get the best idea of how to create your trip reservation and how to bill you on your invoice. So just give us your best guess on everything. On this first page, you're going to enter your church or your organization's contact information. So the name, let's say um, it's First Christian Church. Um, your phone number, your church's address, the city, state, and the zip code. And then it asks for your denomination of your church or organization. So just give us your best guess. I'm gonna say Christian, but whatever your church's denomination is, you can enter it there. If you're a business or a university or a school, those options are in there as well. So just use your best judgment to choose which option fits your church or organization the best. And then the size is just the number of people that attend your church or are a part of your business or your school. And then this last one on this page is gonna ask you for which location you wanna to travel to with CASAS. So we have several locations, just choose the one that you want to do your admission trip to. So in this case, I'm gonna show you a trip to Juarez, Mexico. Um, at the top, it's gonna to ask for referral information. If you are a new team and this is your very first time, then we do want you to check this top box. And then if this is your church or your organization's first trip, also check that box. So if, it's, if it's your first time leading, check the first box. First time for your group, choose the second box. And then tell us a little bit about how you heard about CASAS. So I'm gonna say that somebody from the development team reached out to me and that person was Justin Kirkland. Justin works with CASAS and he goes around trying to recruit for us. And then in the comments, I'm gonna say, I met Justin at a conference and he talked me into doing a CASAS trip. All right, then next you're going to enter your mission trip information. This is just the basic nuts and bolts of how you want your trip to work, the dates and all of those details. So the first question is how many homes do you wanna build? If it's your first time, we recommend that you start with just one house just to get your feet underneath you. And then it's gonna ask if we're gonna to fly to El Paso, Texas or drive. Um, it's a long way from wherever we are, so I'm gonna pretend that we're gonna fly. Um, then it's gonna ask you which type of lodging that you would want. So here in our Mexico locations, we have standard lodging and we have premium lodging. Standard lodging is at a church, and usually that means you have to bring your own cot or air mattress, and the cost of that um, is a little bit lower. And then the premium lodging is at a facility that we own and operate, and those all have bunk beds, so you don't have to bring your cot or an air mattress, and the cost is a little bit higher. So you just make whichever selection is going to be the best fit for your team. And then later, we'll let you know if we're able to accommodate that request. And if not, we'll adjust your invoice accordingly later. So I'm gonna choose premium. I do want a bunk bed to sleep on. And um, I'm just gonna put bunk beds, please, as my preference there in the comments. Um, for the missionary preference, if I already know which CASAS missionary I wanna work with, I'm gonna select their name from this drop-down list. If I don't know, I'm just going to leave it blank. So in this case, I'll just say, um, no preference, and then CASAS can choose for me. For the pastor preference, if there's a certain pastor I wanna work with, I put that in here. If I don't care, then I'll just say no preference. All right, this next question asks if I'm open to outside volunteers joining my group. 
So this is my first trip. I'm probably not gonna check that box just because I want to get my feet underneath me a little bit. But if I've done this a million times and I'm okay with having somebody outside of my group join, I'll check that box. And if somebody reaches out to Casas and is interested in joining my team, we can talk about that option later. So right now I'm just gonna leave that blank. Um, next, it talks about family gifts. We do have optional family gifts that you can add to your trip invoice to pay for for the family. Um, those can be added later at any time through the trip portal, but if I click the link here, it'll show me what the options are just so I can be aware of the prices. And then next, it asks if there's anything else that CASA should know about my trip. Um, let's say um, I am interested in doing um, a VBS one evening can you give me more info on that um, if there's anything special unique about your trip that you're wanting to do that's where you would enter it there and then next we're going to walk through the dates so for our mexico locations our rule is really they just need to be five days or less if it's during our peak seasons or five and a half days or less during our non-peak seasons so i'm going to say this is going to be for next spring break which is a very peak season it's really really busy for us so I'm gonna schedule it for March um, arrival on March the 10th which is a Sunday we're gonna cross the border on Monday March 11th and we'll cross at 7 a.m. on Monday morning the construction start date that's the date I want to start building I want to start that morning on March 11th the concrete truck usually is scheduled for 11 a.m. on that day that's going to work just fine if I cross at 7 a.m. That gives us at least a couple hours to get there and get um, the forms prepped for the concrete truck on the work site. And then um, I need to enter the date for the dedication date and the time as well. And this is just my best guess for what I would prefer. And then we'll, of course, let the sponsoring pastor know that preferred date and time. But we always know that flexibility is needed when we plan these things because it all depends on how quickly the construction process goes. And so I'm just going to say we'll want to finish up by Thursday, which is, um, let me see. That's March. the 11th, nope, the 14th, all right, and then we'll cross the border back on the morning of the 15th, and that should keep us within the five-day window for our peak season. Um, the time I would want to cross back, let's say 9 o'clock a.m., best guess after breakfast that morning and then we're gonna go ahead and fly home on the 16th so we'll get a hotel in El Paso that night on the, the 15th all right the next section is gonna ask about team composition this section is just to give us an idea of what you think the makeup of your team is going to be whether it's an all men's group all women's if it's a mixture if it's a cross-generational group if it's just high school kids if it's college kids if it's families so just give us your best guess. I'm gonna say this is youth group and some adult volunteers. And then the number of workers, we consider anyone age 12 and up to be a worker, meaning we can count on them to work on the project 100% of the time that we're on the work site. So ideally we would like to have at least 15 workers. And I'm gonna say there's gonna be two kids with a total group size of 17. And kids again are just anybody ages zero to 11. Um, for the meal plan, you can choose to use the Casas Por Cristo meal plan or you can plan your own meals. Planning your own is a lot of work and it does take a lot of time during the week when you get back from the work site um, to prep those meals. So to avoid that, I'm going to ask Casas to prepare meals for me. There is a cost obviously to that, but I think it's well worth it so that we don't have to worry about the hassle of dealing with food and, and prep. So we're gonna start meals on Monday morning, March 11th. 
um, starting with lunch because we're crossing the border that morning. We're gonna eat breakfast first before we cross and then we'll have lunch as our starting meal. And then our last meal will be breakfast on Friday the 15th. And if I have any special comments about meals, certain things we would want, or certain food allergies I know we're going to have that will need to be accommodated, I'll put those comments in there. Um, but right now, I would just say NA because I don't have any comments about it. Um, for vehicle rentals, Casas does have some vehicles that, that can be rented. They're available based on availability, so making sure that they're not reserved already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in here my desires for um, rentals and then Casas will let me know if those vans are available. So I would like to rent um, a couple of 15 passenger vans for my group. Actually probably just the 15 and the 12 passenger would work because our group is we're thinking only going to be about 17 people. So I'm gonna say we'll start rentals on that Monday morning that we cross the border and we'll, so that'll be March 11th, we'll give them back on the 15th and I'll choose the 12 and I'm going to hold down the control tab or maybe shift and that'll allow me to select multiple options from the drop down menu. So I chose the 12 passenger van and the 15 passenger van. There's also a trailer available um, if I wanted to, to rent that as well, but I think with a smaller group size of 17, we should have enough space with two vans for all of our luggage. And then I'll just check this box that I agree to this rental agreement, understanding that these are subject to availability and that there is a fee and I need to return them full of gas and submit driver information no later than one month prior to my trip. And then last is gonna ask about excursions. This is the last part on this page. We do have some um, recommendations for excursions in El Paso. We don't currently offer any excursions in Juarez itself. So these are just recommendations. I can click the button there to look at those. And if there's anything I want to do and have my Casas Missionary be a part of, I can put that in here. Um, but most of our Juarez trips don't do excursions. So I'm just gonna leave that all blank and I'm gonna click next. Then it's gonna take us to our contact info page. This is just gonna collect contact information on the people who are planning the trip from your church or your organization. So first it's gonna ask for the role of the first person you're listing here. So that's me, I'm the one filling out the form. So I'm gonna say I'm the missions pastor at the church and primary trip organizer. All right, and then I'm gonna list my name, my date of birth, my job title, my preferred email. I'm gonna use my work email. And then my preferred phone number. I'm gonna use my cell phone. My primary address, um, in the country. And then if there's anybody else who's helping me plan the trip, say a finance person at the church or a second trip leader who also wants to receive all of the emails and the communications about the trip, I'm gonna list them here. So I'm gonna say I have a finance person. I'm gonna enter um, them as finance person with a fake date of birth here, um, just so you can see. And then finance volunteer at the church. Um, let's use their personal email. And phone number. skip the address. If there's a third person as well, I can enter them here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. You get the idea, and then click next. The last part of this form is just the agreements. This is kind of a contract that you are signing with CASAS. 
So the first part asks about the spiritual part of what we do, a spiritual agreement. It says, I understand that CASAS is more than a humanitarian organization. While building homes is what we do, the core mission is to meet the spiritual need for Jesus Christ. You do have to agree to that in order to finish this registration. So we just want to make sure you're aware of what you're getting into here with this mission trip. Then there's also a deposit agreement. So we do ask that you read the details of that and that you agree to them so you can understand how that deposit works. You do have to pay $1,000 up front to reserve your spot on our calendar, and that is non-refundable. However, if you let us know more than 30 days prior to your trip that you need to cancel the reschedule, we will be flexible with you and let you use that for a future trip up to 12 months from the original trip date. So it kind of explains all of those details. And then there's a final payment agreement as well. We do ask that you read through those details. We just wanna make sure you're aware that the final trip fees are due 30 days prior to your trip. If they're not paid on time, there is a $100 late fee that will be added to your invoice. It's just there to encourage you to get that payment in because we have a lot of costs involved at that point. So once you've got all of those deposit agreements figured out and signed, you just click submit registration and your part of the registration process is done. Um, my team coordinators will then give you a phone call once they receive your registration, and they'll make sure that your questions are answered, your initial questions, and we'll get your invoice sent to you, an initial email as well that will prompt you on how to pay your deposit and the next steps. So that is how you register for a CASAS trip. You also always have the option, especially if it's your very first time, to give us a phone call in the office. Our team coordinators are happy to register you over the phone if that's easier for you. And you can reach us at 915-778-0046. Thanks so much.